the sightings continue to increase in number. Some experts believe that this is the world's best UFO film. It was taken by Matt Lane Rutherford in Silver Springs, Maryland. Mr. Rutherford took footage after twilight as the disc hovered over his backyard. Scientists examined the footage and concluded the craft appeared to be maneuvering in its own gravitational field. On a morning walk in 1971, an Australian couple photographed this silver disc in flight. In 1977, a Boy Scout in Indiana took this picture of a metallic craft as it circled his house. In 1978, a terrified housewife in Spain snapped a picture of these UFOs while watching the sunset. This footage was taken by an Australian TV crew on December the 31st, 1978. This luminous domed craft appeared to have a rim around the center and two large portholes. It maneuvered at such an incredible speed it left this track on a single frame of film. No known conventional aircraft can fly at such speeds. In 1978, the United Nations released statistics showing that since 1947, 63,144 UFO sightings were reported. That's approximately one every four hours. Even President Jimmy Carter had his own alien encounter. While governor of Georgia, he filed this seven-page UFO report stating he spotted a glowing object hovering for 12 minutes in the skies over Georgia. The report was personally signed by Carter himself. Filming on a British Airways commercial, the crew captured this luminous UFO maneuvering alongside the Concorde. This dome-shaped craft was filmed by a television crew from New Zealand in January the 2nd, 1979. We can clearly see the craft from the top. The disc appears to be rotating while emitting a blue glow. An identical craft was photographed in 1952 by a Brazilian journalist in Rio de Janeiro. Here we see the dome is visible from two angles and the side is surrounded by large portholes. This sighting was filmed from the parking lot of the Rio Casino Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. When the footage was enhanced, a disc-shaped craft can be seen with a dome on the top and a series of portholes surrounding the craft. In 1991, this footage made worldwide headlines. These two discs were videotaped in a suburban neighborhood just outside Ottawa, Canada. Both UFOs landed in what appears to be a prearranged site. This footage became known as the Guardian sighting. In 1991, eyewitnesses screamed as a photographer took this picture off Manhattan Island as a disc emerged from the river and flew off. This craft was photographed rising out of the water in Australia as it docked with a smaller dark object. This UFO was spotted in Denver, Colorado as witnesses watched from a neighbor's backyard. In the mid-1990s, startled eyewitnesses filmed these craft as they hovered silently in the night skies. In the months following, similar craft were videotaped on three different continents. It was rare that sightings like these gained much national attention. But President Ronald Reagan's speech to students at Falston High School soon changed all that. Suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet outside in the universe. We'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries. Two years later, President Reagan made international headlines when he repeated the alien theme to the General Assembly of the United Nations. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. President Reagan's speeches started the public asking questions again. The Cold War era created a defense industry based solely on high technology. As the stealth bombers rolled off the assembly line, rumors surfaced that the military was test flying recovered alien craft at a secret government base known as Area 51. If the military was going to test fly alien craft, Area 51 was the perfect place to do it. Located some 125 miles outside of Las Vegas, it is one of the least populated expanses in the United States. 
Area 51 is surrounded on three sides by military testing grounds and hidden from public view behind the Groom Mountain Range. This Russian satellite photo shows the base as it appeared in the 1960s. Since then, satellite images have shown the base has expanded immensely. Only a handful of photographs of the base exist, and until recently, the government officially denied its existence. This rare and never-before-seen footage of the base was taken by amateur photographers risking imprisonment if accidentally venturing on government land. But in the mid-1980s, the government seized the adjacent public land, closing off all access to any prying eyes. Sophisticated detection equipment monitors the public BLM land surrounding the base, and private security forces patrol to deter any unwanted lookers. These unmarked black helicopters are used to buzz automobiles scaring off UFO bus hoping to snap a photo. But it's photographs like these taken over the Groom Mountain Range that seemingly confirm the rumors. Very little actual footage exists of the reported test flights. This amateur videotape shows what eyewitnesses saw hover over the base for several minutes before landing. Area 51 has been called the best known secret military base in America. The rumors subsided and in 1996, the state of Nevada renamed the highway which runs parallel to the base. In a massive dedication ceremony open to the press, thousands watched as the governor of Nevada unveiled road signs proclaiming Highway 375 as the extraterrestrial highway.